I love teaching history at an Indian school. Cause I can say whatever the fuck I want. World War II manifest destiny, the Alamo, America's glory, half-truths earn no mercy in my classroom. Standards do not apply here. But standard has a different meaning to my students. The third world within our borders, their home. Navajo, Apache, Lakota, the Pueblos, they're all here. Grandchildren of the uranium mines. Yet, they are the same as any teenager. They're all little shitheads. Every day I come in and think, fuck, these is the fuck, what the fuck is wrong with them? What the fuck am I doing with my life? When I leave this job, it will be spectacular. I pray aliens will abduct me in the middle of class. That way I won't have to quit and my students will have an awesome story. Hey, did you hear what happened to Flowers? Yeah, this green light came and took him. Did you notice he was laughing and giving us the finger as he floated away? Yeah, I synced it, but the aliens don't come. The aliens never come, but those brats, I'll show up to my class 10 minutes late every day, no homework every day, no backpack every day, but they all got nicer cell phones than I got. They all have iPods and never take out their damn headphones and still have the balls to tell me I'm too broke, mister, when I require they buy a copy of Dante's Inferno. Fuck you. Go sell something. Do yard work. Go to the library, but nah, that's too hard. Go panhandle. I'll write you a grammatically perfect script to recite to customers in the Walmart parking lot. Hello, miss, missus, or mister. I am a poor disenfranchised youth who cannot afford my school supplies. Might you help me with a donation or buy me a copy of Dante's Inferno? But no, apparently that's illegal. They all stink like cigarettes, body odor, girly perfume, or weed. Behind my portable classroom is a stoner's oasis. Lunchtime, I catch a wicked contact high because they all blow smoke in my heating vent because they think it goes somewhere else. Some boys got busted with pipes, rolling peppers, a half sack of high grade hidden in my water meter. I am disappointed I did not discover their stash for First. My conscience mocks me. When did you become such a narc, man? Since I scold couples daily about self-respect when I catch them dry humping between classes and God rule the day I show to work with a hickey. Hey, mister, she hungry, huh? I imagine tomorrow's headlines. Teacher throws student through window. The evening news will paint me a devil, but really I'm just a good teacher pushed to madness. I would be the hero of every fed up educator across America. I wouldn't stop there. Once I post bail, I'll sucker punch the security guard at the public school's office, kick the superintendent in the face, then march to Santa Fe, piss on the governor's desk, waving a miniature American flag, screaming as they drag me to jail. I'm a teacher, and I ain't gonna take any more shit. Bring on the state police. Lynch me in the papers. I will always be remembered and feared, which is why I became a teacher in the first place. <laughs>